but your opportunity is become methodical in destroying ambiguity. And here's the deal. Every time you look to destroy ambiguity, you will feel like you are risking a deal. You will feel like you're risking a relationship. And the truth is, is that every deal, you are risking it. <laughs> but in the aggregate, you're risking a much higher trajectory of success. Arrogance and ambiguity together are really bad because they create a vacuum. And so arrogance is selling on your value proposition and your benefit and what you think is best for the customer. That's arrogance. Um, I think that that's just, you know, what happens when you believe in a company and a product and you, and you listen to your own marketing and your own messaging. And then it's even more if you're the founder for what it's worth. It is very rare that a deal just comes in, looks awesome and just closes. Yeah. And if it, does happen, you don't want that to be the standard operating procedure for how you manage those situations. Okay. And as long as you do this with tact, you can't really fuck it up. You're not getting in your own way if you're destroying ambiguity. You are getting in your own way if you're trying to advance an agenda that doesn't align with anybody's political agenda. And I'm gonna like just retell the story. I'm on the sales queue at Dell. I take 30 calls a day, that's 150 calls a week. And I am scared that if I hard close somebody, I'm going to piss them off and they're never going to buy. And the guy next to me is hard closing everybody. And I go to him with my fear. I say, dude, don't people hang up on you? He's like, yeah, at least five a day. How many do you close? And the number was twice as many as I did. He's doing the right thing in the aggregate in every transaction. Instead of worrying about the transaction, he knows that if he asks the questions, if he pushes hard, in the aggregate, he's going to do more, be more successful. And then you're going to get on a call and it's going to totally blow up in your face, not go the way that we talked about. And you're going to go, what the fuck? This shit works and you're going to have to take time. It's going to take time to master it. But the truth is, is that if you push hard in those few moments where you have them to get clarity, that clarity informs every other action that you take when you don't have access to them when they aren't around, when other things are happening. Most people in big bureaucracies love to talk shit about people behind their back. They love to gossip, they love to vent, they love to whatever. Be that sounding board where they get to talk, where you get to be the cool, I'm the great new technology company that's not gonna push you. Tell me about the bad one that made you, you know, do enterprise wide, or was it great? And then if it was great, why wouldn't you consider that with us? But like, don't talk about you at all, ask, Try to understand that as much as you can in a way that sounds helpful where you're tying it back to why it's helpful to them. So